above Pretty flow and that good for nothing man That good Have you killed quickly yet? I'll take there's plenty of bounty. Think about you ready for the next bounty, kid? Last week, a caravan was waylaid north of town, but it's still a mystery who was behind the attack. One of the guards survived with a leg injury, but by all accounts, he's a drunken ass. His name is Chesty, and he spends his days at the bar in Boulder City. Find this guy and try to figure out what happened. Our client is offering 500 caps for the apprehension or termination of the attacker, provided we get definitive proof. Good luck. You're listening to Cowboy Radio. Bad guys. about it and oh, young men are king. Stick around, because there's a surefire hit with your name on it. a big fucking explosion and I got covered in Brahmin guts. Mike was shot to shit but he managed to get one of them. It wasn't raiders like I'm used to, just a couple of old guys in weird uniforms. It was at this intersection and here. Anyway there ain't much left there but you can look. We cleaned up the bodies, but left that old dude to rot. The other day, I visited a quaint little town that goes by the name of Good Springs. They even had a working jukebox inside the saloon, except it only tuned to a few stations. Thank God for Pip Boys. Coming up, a song from everybody's favorite storyteller, Marty Robbins. A tall, handsome stranger rode into town with fire in his eyes, burning red as sundown. His boots were all dusty, his coat open wide. Six ways of dying hung low on the side. He went in the town hall asking for me. They told him that I was still town deputy. I sent him to prison to pay for his crime. He killed a guard on the Santa Fe line. He spread word around town that my time had come. My knots was already carved on his gun. We've got stuff we're He's not laughing even and bragging and having his fun. It's all a show for he knows I won't run. That night inside the road. town was asleep. Sat by my window and looked down the street. I wished in my heart that he'd just ride away. I hated to face him at sun up that day. I met him at sun up, the crowd gathered round, waiting and watching for one to go down. Damn it! He 
grabbed for his six gun, trying his best. He cursed his my bullet when he stood there a moment and looked all around. Slowly and lifeless, he fell to the ground. This stranger's my brother, born an outlaw. He must have forgotten I taught him to draw. The whole town was waiting and I was alone. The blood that I spilled was just like my own. When she hears this story, how mother will cry. Brother gets brother and one had to die. Dead. Good. Here's your reward. Now, come back when you're ready for the next job. Someone is always in need of killing. Ready for another job? That's what I like to hear. Our client is offering 1,000 caps for this next target, and after hearing about her misdeeds, I understand why. The bounty is on a fiend named Eileen. She's a vicious twat with a reputation for castrating male victims and consuming their flesh. Suffice to say, her activities are detrimental to troop morale. The payout is big on this one. So bury that sick bitch and head back.
Bring it on. What is it? Do you see something? Did you kill Eileen? Good. I think every member of the male species is sleeping a little easier with that bitch dead. What's up? I'm really very boring. You'd get better stories out of a freeside junkie. <laughs> 